What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? Hey, look, it appears that the homie Shuhei Yoshida isn't Sony's head of Worldwide Studios anymore, as reported by various publications, including Kotaku, but we're going to get into that. Before we do, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. And also, with that said, a big shout out to the homie Next Gen 720 and my brethren, the broadband bullies, for the feature, feature article write up on the publication gottabelegend.com, right? Full feature publication on the broadband bullies and Next Gen 720. You know what I'm saying? They say they proudly present Next Gen 720 and the broadband bullies. Check it out. Go to go to gottabelegend.com forward slash creator dash highlight dash Next Gen 720. But it should just be on the main page too. All right, with that said, let's get to the story of the day. As Kotaku reports, as I just highlighted, Shuhei Yoshida isn't Sony's head of Worldwide Studios anymore. Now, breaking news. However, I want to preface me in this doing this video like this. All right. There, different publications are chopping this news up in different ways. Some like Kotaku are stating it like this. They're saying um, that, let's see here. Since 2008, Shuhei Yoshida has been president of SEE Worldwide Studios. Today, Sony announced that Yoshida will be stepping down to focus on a new initiative to nurture independent developers in his place. In his place, Guerrilla Games co-founder Herman Holst will take over as SEE Worldwide Studios head. However, you got other publications labeling it like this. And this is from VR Focus, vrfocus.com. They say new head of Sony Worldwide Studios confirmed, but along with that, Shuhei Yoshida's new independent developer initiative uh, has been announced. There's been a bit of reshuffling since Sean Layton has stepped down. Now they consider the moves as separate and unique, you know, and not, you know, so much together. Like Yoshida's not being replaced by Holst, but they say it's like this. At the end of September, Sony Interactive Entertainment announced that Worldwide Studios chairman Sean Layton would be leaving. At the time, a successor wasn't revealed, but that has now happened today. Guerrilla Games' Herman Holst has been appointed head of Worldwide Studios, effective immediately. Okay, now I get it. Kotaku's the bigger publication. You know, they be spot on when they be reporting news regardless of what you think about their opinions or whatever. But I don't believe, I think this story is so early and still developing. I don't believe, as they state, that Host has replaced Yoshida. I think Host's move, like VR Focus states, is to replace Sean Layton. And I'm explaining why in a little bit. But with that being said, because I believe that, and because VR Focus reported it that way i'm gonna give the homies vr focus that may not be that well known i'm gonna give them a little bit of play here i'm gonna read these developments from their article and let me just boost it up a little bit so it's you know a little bit more prevalent and visible to to those that are viewing here all right so the article continues to state that having co-founded amsterdam based guerrilla games back in 2000 the studio is best known for Killzone franchise and the most recently Horizon Zero Dawn, which launched in 2017 for PlayStation 4. The studio is also responsible for developing proprietary game engine Decima, which has been used to create a number of games, including Death Stranding by Kojima Productions. As head of Worldwide Studios, Holst will now oversee all game development across 14 studios under the Worldwide Studios umbrella which still includes Guerrilla Games, which Sony Entertainment acquired in 2005. Herman is one of the most effective and well-respected leaders in the game industry. He is a passionate advocate for the teams he leads and understands how to empower creative, uh, creative talent. To build great experiences, said Jim Ryan, president and CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment, in a statement, Worldwide Studios is a critical part of the future success of the company, and we must deliver on that promise we have made to gamers to create imaginative and exciting content that is truly unique to PlayStation. I have no doubt that Herman can lead our teams to deliver compelling and diverse experiences at a steady cadence. In addition to Holster's announcement, in addition as they read it, this is what I believe. Perfect. 
SIE has also confirmed that PlayStation veteran Shuhei Yoshida will leave his role at Worldwide Studios to lead a new company initiative. This will be focused on supporting external developers, ensuring they all have the necessary tools, technology, and services to make the successful products for PlayStation gamers. <coughs> Excuse me. I am thrilled to announce that Shu Yoshida is head of this new initiative. Everybody knows just how passionate Shu is about independent games. They are the lifeblood of the industry, making our content portfolio so special for our gamers. These wildly creative experiences deserve focus and champion. And a champion like Shu at PlayStation will ensure that the entire SIE organization works together to better engage with independent developers through a culture of supporting and celebrating their contribution to PlayStation platforms, added Ryan. All right. So, developing news, breaking news. Shuhei Yoshida, we can all say across the board, is no longer head of Worldwide Studios. He's been demoted. That can't be denied. He's been demoted to this head of this independent development thing, right? And it sounds like to me, again, that's, this is why it was important for me to do this because I have the Fortune 500 experience and I've seen this all the time in my 20 plus year tenure, right? That whenever someone of a big official role gets demoted, you know what I'm saying? They get demoted and everything that's happening in, in, in conjunction with that demotion, gets announced by the person that may be absorbing the new role. Notice how nobody is saying that Yoshida is going to be to play, uh, going to be replaced or his seat is vacant. It sounds like to me that what happened is Yoshida got demoted. His role is going to be absorbed by Jim Ryan. And to replace Sean Layton, you had hosts formerly of Guerrilla Games that's going to absorb that role. A very, very, very set of interesting moves, not just today, but in 2019. And I think the biggest story, which I'm going to talk about here on this channel, is the rise of the Jim Ryan era, right? And what this is going to mean for PlayStation going into PlayStation 5. But with that said, again, breaking news, Shuhei Yoshida is no longer president of Worldwide Studios. He's been demoted and um, host Herman Hulse, formerly of Guerrilla Games, has got a big, big, big time promotion and is now uh, effectively running the Worldwide Studios. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below. Who cares what I think? But at the end of the day, if you do want to get continuous content from your boy, whether it's this, videos, breaking news, gaming, all that stuff, follow me via the links below. All right, check me out. And with that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.